What is up everyone? My name is Dez, welcome to my channel, and today I have something completely different for you guys. Just this last weekend, I was actually on a podcast with my friends from Betamax. We were talking about motherhood and also about the movie Tully and what we thought about it. And if you want to check that out, I'm going to put it in the description below. So, last week I told you guys that I was doing the Lucy Windham Reed 7 Day Abs Challenge, which I did, and it was a great workout, 7 minute, super cardio based, and some abs. I love that I was able to do it quickly, even out in the hallway or something, while my kids were occupied with toys or watching TV or something, but... I ended up gaining weight. I am the reason to blame. <laughs> the workout should have worked. She says that you need to do the workout seven days straight every day and you need to make healthy food choices, which I did not. Nearly everyone asked me on my Lauren Conrad's 30 day abs challenge in the comments for if I was on a diet while I was making the video. I don't like to use the word diet. These choices that I'm trying to make are lifestyle changes. I'm trying to change these things forever so that I can have changes forever. I don't want to gain all the weight back when I stop drinking this fit tea, flat tummy tea or something. I want these changes to be for a lifetime. So what I try to do is eat lower carb, or processed carb, which is like breads, rice, pasta, stuff like that. I try to eat less of that. Um, I eat some whole grain stuff, like whole grain bread or sprouted bread, like the Ezekiel bread. That's good too, it has tons of fiber, which you need. And I mean, fruit has carbs, everything has carbs, so I don't cut stuff like that out. It's not a keto diet or anything like that. Bottom line is, I've been making very bad food choices. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner have not been healthy. If I'm eating a ham and cheese croissant for breakfast, lunch a cheeseburger, dinner a pizza, obviously that's not gonna work. <laughs> I am eating so many calories that there's no way I'll be able to burn them off unless I run like five miles, which I don't have the time or the energy to do. So the biggest thing is I try to eat more whole foods. I am going to try again <laughs> to start eating more whole foods, more veggies. Fruit's okay, but I'm not gonna eat 10 pounds of it. Also, I need to not overeat. I need to slow down and listen to my body so that I don't stuff myself with food before I know that I'm full. Even when I was losing weight, I would do very good during the week. I would be eating really good, work out almost every day, and then the weekend would come and it's a 180, complete 180. I would eat whatever I wanted. I would just go crazy, eat whatever and I would gain the weight back that I lost during the week. And it was a vicious cycle during the week, I would lose it again, weekend comes, boom, I gain it. So I was never able to get under 136, and I'm only five foot, I'm not very tall. <laughs> the doctor told me I should be around 120, and that's still at the heavier range. And she told me this about five months ago, and I've never been able to get lower than 136 which is kind of sad <laughs> to be honest but I'm not gonna beat myself too much I know these are choices that I am making I need to adjust <laughs> if you want to lose weight you need to make healthier food choices if you have plans that you're gonna eat pizza at night go for it do it pizza is delicious <laughs> but try to make healthier food choices for breakfast and lunch and snacks if you eat snacks. You can't just eat burgers and pizza and french fries and donuts all in one day and then think you're gonna be able to burn it off. You might be able to if you spend hours in the gym, 
but I can't or I don't have the time to do that. To lose weight you need to be in a calorie deficit. I believe it's like taking in less calories than you're burning. Consuming less calories than you're normally doing, I would say. So if you normally eat 2,000 calories and you don't do anything, no working out or anything, eat like 1,800 calories and then work out and burn 300 calories and you are down to 1,500 instead of 2,000. You will definitely lose weight doing that, but you will also have to count your calories, <laughs> which can be a little tricky, especially if you are eating out places. Some places do have the calories of their food available, but you never really know for sure. You probably need a scale for your food, but a lot of people don't have that like me I don't have that <laughs> which makes me want to get one just in case but we're getting off topic here I believe that the most effective ways to lose um, more fat is stuff like HIT, which is like high intensity interval training high cardio and lifting weights that really helps lifting weights helps lose weight a lot HIT is very good because you're burning your calories and then you continue to burn it after. But cardio, I believe, from what I've read, from what people have said in my comments, that you only burn calories during cardio while you're working out. Weightlifting and like things like HIT or Tabata workouts, those are good because you continue burning calories after you're done. I sound like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would say the easiest way is to make sure you're making healthy food choices most of the time. Some people say 80-20, like 80% good food choices, 20% not good. There's no way I'm going to hit my 10 pounds by June goal, so that's out of the picture. This is part of the journey and I know it and I'm not going to be too hard on myself. I just know what I have to do and that's eat better. Thank you so much for all of you who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't, go ahead and do so. If you wanna see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It was a lot of car, it was very, <laughs> if you're eating a ham and cheese croissant for Blah, blah, blah.